Hey y'all, this is Deb, and um, I have recorded this video. This is my third take. This has been a very difficult video for me to make, but let me go ahead and get into what I've purchased. I am going to show you what I purchased, and then we'll chat a little about the experience. Let's talk about, like I always do, shipping and everything. Let's start with Heritage Hydration. So, she was perfectly clear. When I went on her website, she I had been on her Facebook page. I hesitated about ordering because she made it clear that it was going to be a delay in getting the orders out because she's a one-woman shop. And I had gone back and forth, back and forth, but I had just seen so many reviews about how good this conditioner was. And I have a conditioner fetish that I took my chances and I placed my order. So I expected for my products to have a delay in shipment. I really can't say anything about that. Uh, the owner is actually working very hard hard to make the necessary changes in order to expedite her shipping. I don't know how she's going to do that since she's the only one, but you know, she's very upfront and honest and communicating uh, with everyone about the products and where she is. And she's very active on Instagram and Facebook. So I did have to reach out to her to make sure that, you know, I only had one thing. I did call her and she immediately pulled my ticket and shipped it out. And that was really sweet of her. She didn't have to do that. I didn't call her for her to do that. I just wanted to make sure that my order wasn't lost. So tentacles. All I can say is that that was a series of un- fortunate events and I say this because I've had time to calm down my I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you when I placed my order I had seen reviews and everyone that had done a review were they were very upfront about the sh slow shipping I knew my shipping was going to be slow uh, but I did get a little antsy when I placed my order in November and I was going out of town for Thanksgiving because I ordered the first week of November with her anniversary sale. And it was going into the last week of November. And I knew that I wasn't going to be home for a block of days. And I did not want my package to come while I was gone. And I didn't want anyone to take my package. So I contacted her and she was very, very helpful in getting me my order. I did a haul on it and I did not open it. Had I opened it, I don't know if I would have placed a second order. She had another good sale, Cyber Monday, I placed an order. And then that's when things kind of just started spiraling out of control for everybody. I wasn't happy because I didn't have my product and other people were beginning to get their product, but they were getting their Black Friday products at the end of December. And um, I checked on my product and I she told me that she was going to replace my, you know, bad batch of product. And um, she offered everybody, you know, like 50% discount. I, I just, you know, I, I'm, gla I'm glad I didn't make the video before I got my products because I've had time to sit back and assess the situation. And if you think about it, I don't think anything that happened was intentional. However, when you are in business, you have to think about the whole business cycle. And personally, I don't know if there could have been someone there that could have done some projections for her or if 
uh, you know, she could have just come up with some kind of method. I understand you want the product to be fresh, but you knew that you were doing all of this stuff for your anniversary. She was trying to show her appreciation to all of her customers because she had a phenomenal first year and she was just having sales each week. And as she continued to have sales, her orders continued to increase. And at some point, you've got to say, whoa, I'm kind of in and over my head right now. You know, people shouldn't expect shipping to be a month. In truth and honesty, I knew it was going to take a long time. I just started, you know, feeling some kind of way when everybody else started getting their stuff. Uh, I'm not upset with Sultanicals. I just think that they need to work on their business practices. They need to, like they're doing, they're taking a step back. And I hope that they rebound, rebound well from this. Uh, I like the products. Well, I, if I try the products and I really like the products, y'all, you know, I, I have my staple and my holy grails. But if I try one and it's just like the best thing since sliced bread, will I order again? If things change, maybe, and never doing a sale. I just don't want to go through that. I just don't think that's the way it should be. It's kind of got a little out of hand and at some point, when this started spiraling out of control with the first bad batch of soul tentacles should have stopped all sales and just concentrated on getting out the orders that they had. So, like I said, it took me three tries. Uh, this might be my fourth video. I don't know. I lost count. But I made this video several times because I didn't want to come on here. I don't like to bash companies. I'm, you're not going to ever see any of that. I may come on and vent and rant and rave about my personal issues like what may upset me for the day like at the red box or whatever. But I'm not going to come on here and bash any one person or any business because, you know, I'm, I just don't do that on my channel. I try to keep it positive, but I try to keep it honest and I'm going to keep it real. So that's my haul. It seemed like, you know how you anticipate something and when you kind of get it and if it took too long to get it, you know, it's like you wanted something like for a long time and you get it, you're not excited about it. I'm not going to say I'm not excited about it. I'm glad that I'm relieved that I got that and that whole sale has finally completed, you know, went the whole cycle and it's completed. And I want to wish Soul Tentacles the best as well as Heritage Hydration. And like I said, I will order from Heritage Hydration, but probably not doing a sale if I like her stuff and it depends on how well Soul Tanical Soul Tanicals bounce back you know if I order from them it probably won't be a do and a sell either I wish them both the best I'm gonna thank you all for watching this is my Cyber Monday haul hope you all enjoyed it and until my next video you guys be blessed bye